to my channel 5 Minutes Economics where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes. The topic for today is Coase Theorem. Before moving to Coase Theorem, I would like to explain you a little about externality. So what basically is an externality? An externality is a cost or benefit incurred to the third party who did not choose or sign up for this cost or benefit in the very first place. Externality can be of two types, positive externality or negative externality. For example, education. My parents are the one who paid for my education and I am the one who received it. But through my knowledge, the community can benefit. They are the one who is facing this benefit and positive externality. For an example of negative externality can be pollution. Supposingly, a factory is producing some commodity and in its production, it's causing a lot of pollution in the nearby area. So the people are facing this cost or this negative externality. I hope you are pretty much clear with the concept of externality, positive externality and negative externality. Moving further to Coase Theorem. Coase Theorem was developed by Ronald Coase and hence the name Coase Theorem. Coming to the exact definition of it, under right conditions, parties to a dispute over property rights will be able to negotiate an economically optimal solution regardless of initial property rights. What does this statement basically mean? This basically means is when there is a dispute between two parties, we can reach an optimal solution through negotiation. Coase theorem offers useful way to think about how to best resolve the conflicts between competing business or other economic users of limited resources. The problem arises because the resources are limited and who gets who and who gets what is what can be solved through Coase theorem. So basically the three conditions or I would say assumptions which have to be kept in mind while studying the Coase theorem are efficient competitive market, zero transaction cost and free and perfect symmetrical information that is everyone is aware of what is happening in the market. Now coming to the example, I'm pretty much sure after this example, you will be clear with the concept of Coase Theorem. Example for a businessman and neighbors. So a businessman is producing a commodity and while producing this commodity, he is using a certain type of machinery which is causing a lot of noise in the nearby area. The people staying in the nearby area or the neighbors are facing a lot of discomfort with this noise. Now the problem arises that who pays who? Does the businessman pay the neighbor that please let me reduce this noise and I will pay you or compensate you for this? Or do the neighbors pay the businessman that we are paying you but please do not produce this noise? We can solve this through Coase theorem. So if the market value of one producing the noise is greater than the market value of damage done to neighbors, the most efficient outcome is that the businessman pay. So this happens when the businessman says that he is getting a lot of profit or he is generating a lot of revenue and it is necessary for him to produce that noise and for the production of the commodity. So he will pay the neighbors but he will continue with his production. Secondly, when the market value of neighbors is greater than the market value of one producing the noise, the most efficient outcome is that the neighbors pay. The neighbors say that we cannot bear this discomfort, we will collectively pay the businessman and ask him to stop his production. In that case, the most efficient outcome is that the neighbors pay. So this kind of situation is pretty much uh, unrealistic or unachievable in a real life scenario. However, concluding this course theorem, it states that we can reach an optimal solution even in the presence of externalities when there is zero or less transaction costs and markets are pretty much efficient. I hope you are clear with the concept of course theorem. In case of any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do like my video and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss on my future videos. Hope to see you in my next video pretty soon. Thank you.